Welcome back to At Home Crypto. Hope everybody's enjoying the videos as we show you how to build a, we're doing Ethereum mining and a mining rig. Uh, so we've gotten a lot of our GPUs still waiting on one. <coughs> Today we got our finally, our PCI risers. I bought 10 of them because I do plan to expand. There. And they come as a really good bundle. I found that the PCI risers actually take the longest of anything to get here. Um, I really don't know why that is, but it does take a while. You'll find a link. I'd recommend buying those as one of the first things, like with your motherboard. Um, I didn't know that until I did this. So, <coughs> I already did, <coughs> excuse me, a, uh, a unboxing of these cards. The... Radeon RX 580s. <coughs> Water real quick. Okay, notice it says Gaming X Plus. This is different than the one that I did in the unboxing. And this is because it's got two power uh, connections for it. The one that says just Gaming X. So it's good, um, it just takes less power off your motherboard. There you go. And we're gonna test it. All right, you'll see I got two of them that are like this. <coughs> okay. But that seems to be the only difference is that these have the twice the power connections and I'll show you what I mean. Okay. I think I have it upside down. <laughs> there you go. Same thing you would have seen in the other video. Let's see. Here. It's just, I believe it came with the stickers. Yeah, stickers and the driver CD. Get the latest drivers off the internet. <coughs> and that's actually very easy. Just go to the msi.com site. There. So every as usual, keep everything together. Okay. So let's first look at this GPU. And I put that in there, good. All right. Okay. Pull cool this bad boy out. Oh, it's in there. Really tight. They do this. How about you? Okay. Very nice and pretty. Yep. And you know, I look at it and I thought they were the same, but this actually looks a little thicker than the other one. Probably because the extra power. That would make sense. Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, it's not mentioned on anything, any of the specs. So keep that in mind. We're going to need to keep our risers, you know, separated pretty far. In the last video, I took these off. Um, you actually don't have to. I'm going to put them back on. Um, you just leave them all on. It's better for airflow and make sure nothing gets, you know, any lint or dust gets in these. So you keep those on. Of course, take your sticker off. Now, and again, save everything. You can put this back on. It's easy to fill right off of that. There. And notice our two power. Your normal one and the one I showed you only had the one. See? And they're the eight pin. Keep that in mind. It's the eight pin. With the if you get the Corsair, it supports six and eight. Look at that video. Okay, so they're nice enough to give you. Let me show you. Here. Let's see. And of course, try to be good, gentle. What is this? Of course, I know. I'm just playing around. Yeah, this is, they give you the connection. There. <coughs> Excuse me. To make it easier so that you're able to connect two of these. There. Onto one power supply. So it comes like this. Mm-hmm. Slide that in, just like that. 
Okay, there. And then you have your other one that you already have connected. So notice that we're going to have the 8 pin that came with the Corsair and a 6 pin that both will be able to connect from. This is good they included this. It actually saves you a little, a little bit of money. Or if you have the Corsair, it comes with it. So I'm going to test that out if we're going to actually use it. But again, keep in mind, this is definitely a little thicker. And I didn't know that from the specs. It seems like they would have said. But everything else is the same from what I can tell. Same speed. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Let's move all of this. So I'm going to show you what came today, finally. The PCI risers. <clears throat> Again, I bought a pack of 10 because I do plan to expand um, our mining rig, probably eventually have 10. All right, and you need these again because the motherboard, and let me show you what's in here. This is your PCI 16 slot, okay? This will sit right here, just like a motherboard. It's gonna slide in like that. It's one of the last things you do, of course, but notice that. There, and actually I have it wrong, it's this way. Yeah, and notice it clips in, boom. So that you know it's in there good and tight. Um, there, okay. So that's your PCI 16. And let me show you what that's, what we're using these for. <coughs> Excuse me. Looking at our motherboard again, keep in mind what made this uh, the Pro BTC from uh, AS Rock Special was the five PCI connections. Look, remember these? One, two, three, one. Start at the end. One, two, three, four, five. I think I missed. Oh, six. Yeah. Right there. So they actually have six. Remember the one PCI X that we have running right now? And I showed you how to do that. That's plugged in. And so. This, what we got was the risers that, that turn these one connections into this, which is the 16. It matches that. So let me show you what came in that box. Or in the packages. All right, so we have our 16, like it says on it, PCIe 1X to 16X. You can see actually the details. It says you know, who makes it in the version 06. There's different versions of them. Make sure you get that version 06. It has to do with the connections for the 5, 6, and 7 from what I saw. But this definitely seemed to work the best with this motherboard and that Corsair. So go with the 6. There'll be a link to that in the uh, comment in the description. Okay, so we also have this is our PCI 1 connection. Okay, so it would go in, and I'll show you when we actually connect it. There'll be a different video. This piece goes in there. Then remember the PCI 1 slots. Okay, it's going to go like that. And I'll show you in the video, so I'm going to do another one on that. Okay, look. Now we have our USB that comes with it. And the USB goes into there. Okay. So this goes to the board, USB goes to this, other end of USB goes to the 16. Okay, 